everybody my name is analytical plum and welcome back to my channel i do have to say before we start this episode i am absolutely fine this is fashion this is not a neck brace okay so back off before you make any judgments okay i don't think this video needs any sort of introduction i think we've all got the gist by now but if this is your first time watching this video then this is my percy jackson watch series we are now on episode six so very very close to the end we are getting there we got i suppose two more weeks to go and i'm so excited to see how this season finishes but before we watch episode six i would love if you would consider some subscribing i do post twice a week but don't hold me to that and if you happen to like percy jackson or just any type of reaction videos then please do like this video it really does support my channel without further ado let's just go straight into watching episode six do you think you're special lightning thief hell yeah i gave you the tools to steal the master bolt only to watch it take him from you Ooh. There is too much at stake for you to fail me again. Give me reason to question your worthiness again, and there is another that just might be ready to take your place. Who do we think this is? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say I know who this is. <laughs> you know, book nerd or whatever. But who do you think this is? Ooh. Well, both the person talking and whoever stole the lightning bolt thing. Yeah. It's a mystery. Isn't that right, little hero? Not time for us to meet quite yet. What you made? I'm not here, don't worry about me. Can you see where we are? <laughs> that really made it look so tiny. See, watching this, you kind of forget that they're just kids. It's just something that kind of, you know, I just forget about that. They're literally kids. There, oh, got a signal. Toss it, CB brain. This will never stop being weird. If you want the gods' attention, you have to pay for it. I was so intrigued to see how they were going to do this. I mean, it's like I've always ranted about, or whatever. Some things are very hard to translate from books onto TV screens. So far, a lot of the things have been absolutely spot on. Oh, Iris, goddess of the rainbow. That's my god. Please accept my offering. Okay, show me Camp Half-Blood, Chiron's office. Look, Annabeth? Annabeth? Percy, are you okay? Hi, dude. Where's Chiron? Chiron's holding camp together with both hands. Or oh, hoofs. Everyone thinks we're going to war, so the cabins are taking sides. Please tell me you're calling with good news. We know who stole the bolt. How do you know? We ran into Ares, and Grover got him talking and realized Ares knew who the thief was. So who would Ares cover for other than? His favorite daughter. Clarice is the lightning thief. Oh! Hilarious, you naughty, naughty gal. Chiron's gotta arrest her. Find out what she knows. Lock her more up. Than just the bolt. So Aries, huh? What was that like? He had lots of Twitter fights and almost tried to kill me with cheeseburgers. Compared to the Chimera on Monday and Medusa on Sunday, it could have been a lot worse. Medusa was Saturday. I thought Sunday. No monsters on Sunday. Monday you died in the river. It's been yeah, a hectic so schedule. Medusa on Saturday. <laughs> Why did you turn into an old married couple? Not to change the subject, but I'm gonna. We could use your advice <laughs> on something. We're headed to Las Vegas to find your dad. What was that about? You can't ask Luke about his dad. Well, now I certainly can't. If you tell him we're going to see Hermes, he's gonna try to talk us out of it. They don't get along? It's uh, a bit of a tricky situation, a bit of a sensitive topic. Men driving this truck? Not nice people. Traffickers. We can do our best to help all these animals escape, but not if it means we're jeopardizing the quest. Oh. No, no, they've already got a plan to get themselves out. Some of these guys, so smart. They were really only missing, like, one piece of the puzzle to get the cages unlocked. What's that? Thumbs. To be fair, I have seen many, many instances where, like, cats and dogs curl their paw around locks and, like, get it open. Like, you know, for cages, and it's got, like, a little hinge bit. I've seen them open it. They are very, very intelligent, you know. Maybe they're the next Einstein. I think a cat would be the one to invent a cure for cancer. He seems dangerous. I gave them a satyr's blessing, so they'll be able to reach the wilderness. I meant for the people. <laughs> so how do we know which hotel is the lotus? I'm guessing the one with the giant lotus blossom on it. I don't know if I missed it. I might have missed it. Where, where was the zebra? 
The title of this episode is We Take a Zebra to Vegas. Or where is the zebra gone? Just let the easy ones go. I swear to God, Rick, are you trying to get me copyrighted with all these songs? First, it's Bleated What's Love. No, it was Olivia Rodrigo. Then it's What Is Love. And then it's Della Lupa. Oh my God. <laughs> Would it be unprofessional if we just hung out here for a bit? Not at all. Go ahead. We find her. We get her to hook us up with the ride to Los Angeles and a plan to get into the underworld. We are out of here 10 seconds later. I was kidding. Your mom told you all the stories. Did she read you the Odyssey? Odysseus lands on a beach. There's these guys who've forgotten where they came from, forgot everything that was important to them. And they got that way because they ate the lotus flowers. They're very smart cookies, I'll give you that. We go in there and then forget everything that would be bad on a number of levels. Yeah, just a bit. If Hermes is in there, though, then what choice do we have? This place is a lot bigger than it looked from the outside. Well, it's hardest. The TARDIS don't have many people in it. Or maybe it does, I don't know, in the corridor or something, which is full of people. Do you know what? That looks really stressful. Maybe when I see the game section, I'll change my mind. Let's put up. I thought we didn't do that anymore. You guys have seen him before, but I haven't. So I'm not going to be much help alone. He'd be able to tell. I mean, they're looking for a god. Maybe they've just got, he's wearing his Hermes uniform. I'll take Percy this way. One way or the other, we meet back in the lobby in 20 minutes. What are you going to say to Hermes at Grover camp? I was with Luke for a long time before Grover found us. I saw stuff Grover didn't get to see, like meeting his mom. She's a seer, a human who can see through the mist. Sometimes I see stuff that messes them up. Oh, lordy lord. Scary stuff. Stuff that hasn't happened yet. Oh, I, I did not think she was implying scary. I thought she meant like watching somebody cut their toenails or something. I suppose that could be scary. I think it happened to her, and Luke blames Hermes for it. And I think Hermes would do anything to win him back. Maybe helping us as a start. Hello? Hi. Augustus, it's me. It's Grover. Do you remember me? Well, I mean, you're asking somebody if they remember something that's been in the casino and eating popcorn. You ate the lotus flowers. You were really important to my family. He is me in a social situation. <laughs> I just got blank and I'm like... And I know you were a big influence on my Uncle Ferdinand. When he was preparing for his search, he talked about you. Ferdinand? Yeah. I just wanted to let you know I found him back in New Jersey. That was as far as he got on his search for Pan. Oh, I don't really know Uncle why I'm telling Ferdinand. you this. This is just hard to talk to my friends about it. I don't know if they can understand. I found him. No, I found Ferdinand. It's okay, I shouldn't be bothering you. No, not Ferdinand. I found Pan. What? Almost. I've almost got him. Hmm. Grover, I've just been waiting for, for someone to, to help me break through to him. Will you help me? Um, well, I'm not sure that's the greatest idea, I mean... I've been having these dreams. Then, like Luke's mom, they got scary. And then this guy started showing up and talking to me. It's more like he knows we're in a dream. Secretly Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger's actually a Greek god. That'd be so dangerous, oh my god. Like, I was eavesdropping on him, talking to to the person who stole the master boat for him. You're eavesdropping on Hades, conspiring with Clarice through your dreams. The part I don't get, though, is that they were talking about what comes next. Like, getting Zeus and Poseidon to fight was only the beginning. There is so much more. That's good. I mean, there's five books. Something the gods don't even know about. I mean, what are we supposed to do about that? Crack on! <laughs> Beat him up. It isn't going to make any difference unless we actually get to Santa Monica first. I don't think I'm allowed to do this. I don't have my searcher's license to look for Pam. I won't tell if you won't. That's cheeky, that. What is Pam doing in a Vegas casino? It's just a little further ahead. God of nature has been hiding all this time. Here, this is like the least natural place in the world. Seems like a strange choice. I'm sorry, have we met? Yeah. Would you like some? I can't eat the lotus flowers, Augustus. They're nacho chips. Uh, I don't think this is looking very good. Don't do it, Grover. I gotta tell my... I gotta... Grover? Wait, I was here with someone, wasn't I? You're here with me. What was I just saying? It's just a little further ahead. Oh, Will you help me? no. Grover! <laughs> Hey, demigods, welcome. You alright, Hamilton? 
Do you know what? I've never watched it. I don't know if he is Hamilton. I just know he's the face of Hamilton. <laughs> Please don't kill me if you're a Hamilton fan. The kids know how to play craps? No. Look, we don't really have a lot of time. We need your help to. I know what you need my help for. You want my help to sneak into the underworld. You're a really good guesser. I exist beyond space and time, kid. Why do you think they put me in charge of delivering the mail? Because you're quick on your feet. To the usual deliveries, like two to three business weeks or something or rather and he'll do it in like one second <laughs> you're not the first demigods to ask and trust me you won't be the first demigods to walk away disappointed yeah but we're not like the other demigods <laughs> might as well at least play a little we're friends of luke's and I oh yeah time and space are easy kids parenting is something else entirely i remember you last time i saw luke i saw you argue I heard what he said, that what happened to his mom was your fault. That it was all your fault, that he hated you. Well, <laughs> there's no need to rub it in on her, Beth. If you're trying to get his help, I don't, I don't think you should be, you know, bringing that up. Help us get to the underworld. Help us retrieve Zeus's master bolt from Hades and he'll see that you care. There is a way into the underworld. I've helped others find it before. Do you know what happens every time? Uh, they get wrecked by Cer Cerebus, Cerberus, Cerberus, I think. You don't want my help. No, we actually kind of do. I was warned to stay away from Luke and his mother. Warned that no matter how much I tried to help, I would just make things worse. Poor, um, oh, do you know what? I kind of feel bad for the guy. And I went anyway, and it wasn't just awful for Luke. Do you know what that feels like? Um, kind of? There's been many times where I've been like excited to drink my LucasAid Sport in the fridge and when I go to drink it, it's not there. That's devastating. I know you do. Should I remind you too? I remember just fine. Ooh. I don't get involved anymore. It's just not worth it. I'm sorry. And this was all just a waste of time. Yeah, pretty much. It was your father who warned me to stay away. Said it was awful watching you struggle and feel powerless to stop. But that sometimes that's what parenting is. Well, I'll take your word for it. I don't really have much I was supposed to see him. experience. If it makes you feel any better, it won't be much use now anyway. What's that supposed to mean? Back to find out what the casino really does. <laughs> it's night time. We have a huge problem. I know it seems like we've only been here for like 20 minutes, but it's already Thursday. We've been here for days. Time moves differently here, faster. Every second in here is like minutes outside. Hermes let us sit at that table the whole time, knowing the clock is running out on our quest. And I feel a lot better about having stolen his keys. Exactly. Oh, cheeky, cheeky. It was very good though. Do you think he'd know? I think he might have realized. Got invisible, pick his pocket. The reason we can't feel time passing is because of the lotus fruit. We didn't eat any lotus fruit. They pump it into the air. Grover. Who's Grover? No. <gasps> Not Grover. buddy old pal Grover. I remember Grover. Uh. Man, Grover got really old. How long have we been here? We're looking for a friend, a satyr. Have you seen him? Wait. Well, OK, then. Where's Grover? Oh, dear. He's in the VR! Do you ever think that Grover would ever run a Twitch account? A YouTube gaming channel? I've, I would watch that. You know, his travels of Pan with the VR. Grover, I was so close. And I can't believe I'm the one saying this, but it's really time to go. Where are we going? You don't know who we are, do you? No, I don't. Have we met? Do you know what? For not remembering anything, he's certainly uh, trusty. Of strangers. Percy, Annabeth, we're your best friends. Really? We're on a quest. We can't do this without you. A quest? That sounds amazing. Is it dangerous? It's not a deal breaker. I'm just curious. And also, just I'm sorry, what was noise. your name again? Oh, dear. That's not going to help them, is it? What kind of car does the God of Travelers have? This quest is really exciting. <laughs> really hoping we find that car. Finding the car isn't the quest. There's more? Oh, bless. Jeez. Really, because of me? No, no. We're gonna be okay. Well, I hope that game you were playing was amazing. I was hunting for Pan. Like, I actually felt I was about to find him. That, that I'd be the first. 
that I'd help save the natural world. Oh, no, Grover. Guys, Hermes drives a cab and left us a note. How do we know that's for us? <laughs> nice. Should have known the God of Thieves noticed his pocket getting picked. That's what I said. That, that's literally his specialty. <laughs> it says we'll become travelers once we're on the road. And then a car will take us wherever we wish to go. One of us just has to drive it out of the garage. I'm not sure that's going to go very well. This is this is going to be absolutely disastrous. How hard could this be? <gasps> that hard, I think. <laughs> How do you make it go backwards? No. No. You're welcome to give this a try. I don't think they're even going to make it out of the parking base. That car is going to be absolutely wrecked before they can even the outside air. That guy didn't even slow down. The road rage is starting early. It's okay. You've got this. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't drive. I've done my theory in that, but then it expired because of COVID. And then I gave up because I was like, no, it's too scary. But those round pathway bits and the little bits you go in the road that are like really really tiny absolutely terrifying i could not even imagine how a little bursy would be feeling that terrified me it's not doing bad i jinxed it i spoke way too soon <laughs> Are they alive? That was probably the easy route to the underworld. You get hit by a truck. <laughs> you guys are my best friends. Yeah, he's my rumble green again. A little weird that I forgot a lot more stuff than you guys did. I wonder what that's about. We weren't alone. Does it help that they're demigods? Because wouldn't it be like a bit more resistance to things? That's what I'd think. It's easy to forget what's important when you're alone. Yeah, so stop splitting up. I thought we realised that's a bad idea. Also, I can't see anything again. It's just a black screen with a couple of white dots. So whatever you're seeing, I'm sure it's absolutely fabulous. I think I gotta go meet my dad now. We'll be here when you get back. I, I'm not really sure where he is. Are they on Santa Monica? What do I say to him? Pay child support? <laughs> oh, I see something. I'm seeing things. I'm sorry. He waited as long as he could. The summer solstice passed earlier this evening. Zeus's deadline has elapsed. It's past. It's gone. It's, it's over. But, but the, the quest. What? Your father has gone to marshal his forces and prepare for war. You know that's actually valid. Yes, to relay a message. This is not your fault. You were brave. You were strong. You made your father proud. It's time for you to return to camp. No. We only ever seen Sally. No. I'm going to see this through. You are released from your quest. This is too important. The war is only the beginning of Hades' plan. I have to stop him. So willful. Just like him. There is so much of him in you. Just curiosity, right? I've probably already known this, but I've forgotten. So we'll just start from scratch. How do they know what he's like and what he's doing? Do you think it's like Big Brother in the water? Like they've got a bunch of cameras around the world and they just watch Percy Jackson on screens. Maybe he's a bit like the Truman Show. Well, let's just hope they didn't see him pee or do anything embarrassing. This four? Each will provide one of you safe passage back from the underworld. There are Ooh. four of them. Yeah. Save the world. And then go save your mother. Ah! Well, that gives us a bit more hope, doesn't it? So that was my reaction to Percy Jackson episode six. After this, we've got literally two more weeks, two more episodes to go, and then it's done for this season. Still no news on season two. Yeah, there's definitely a few changes that I have noticed. I mean, yeah, where's the zebra? I've missed it because 
my screen is just so dark it's so i really need to figure out something i need to up the brightness when i record <laughs> hopefully that fix it <laughs> I think that will be it from me today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you have been watching from the first episode, I just want to thank you for sticking around. I've only got two more to go. So hopefully you'll be around for those two. And I'll catch you all in the next video.